Good evening. New tonight. Fans of local radio may have noticed a slight difference in programming the last few weeks. That's because Backyard Media, home of KSJJ, Power 94, and others, fell victim to cyber terrorists. Tracy Tuesday has been following this story. Tracy, what's the latest? Lee, on November 29th, Backyard Media, formerly known as Ben Radio Group, who owns a number of very popular local radio stations, was taken over by whom it refers to as foreign cyber terrorists. The radio group's music catalogs on all stations were taken hostage with the demand of large sums of Bitcoin as payment. To return them. Not only was the music stolen, but the operating systems used to load the music and how the radio personalities communicate with listeners over the airwaves were all frozen. All stations were knocked off air. In addition, Backyard Media's promotions, contesting, and commercials were all compromised through the cyber attack. The radio company immediately filed a police report and contacted the FBI. General Manager Andy Helms said despite the devastation caused by the cyber terrorists, they refused to succumb to their demands. They demanded a large sum of money in Bitcoin. Uh, to be delivered to them through various wires, uh, to which we said no. It's frozen up all of our on-air uh, automation computers, uh, which will effectively force us to buy new hardware, um, buy new music libraries, um, and recreate all of our audio commercials and imaging and things of that nature. Um, we're committed to doing that. We're committed to buying new automation hardware and software. Uh, we're committed to um, integrating, innovating, and upgrading all of our systems, um, which is what we're doing currently. Backyard Media got new hardware today. Staff already started building new music libraries, playing a limited list. They're still forced to read all of the advertisers' commercials live on air instead of the standard recorded process, but say they're very thankful to their business partners and listeners for sticking with them through this very difficult time. Lastly, Andy has advice for small businesses on cyber attacks. Hire a great IT team that's local and can give you straight answers in layman's terms that you can understand as a small business. Also, make sure your insurance plans are specific because they do have exclusions. They should include cyber attacks. Tracy Tuesday, News Channel 21.